Hello, my name is Kama Pierce and I'm the COO at the Levine Museum of the New South. And today we are going to be reading together Nappy Hair for obvious reasons. And it was also one of my faves that I used to read to my college age daughter. So here we go. This was beautifully written by Carolivia Heron and illustrated by Joe Zapata. Uncle Mordecai told this story at the backyard picnic. Uncle Mordecai told it, the folks joined in between the lines, little Jimmy taped it, and here it is. Brenda, you sure do got some nappy hair on your head, don't you? Well, it's your hair, Brenda, take the cake. Yep, and come back and get the plate, don't you know? It ain't easy to come by that kind of hair. <laughs> no, it ain't. You just can't blame Africa, it's willful. Well, that is it. Them some willful, intentional naps you got all over your head. Sure enough, your hair intended to be nappy. Indeed it did. I mean combing your hair, yep is like scrunching through the New Mexico desert and brogans in the heat of summer. That's the way. It's like crunching through snow. Yeah. About a foot, two feet at least. Uh-huh. With two inches of cross on the top. I can hear it. Y'all know how it sounds when you're scrunching through snow like that. I can hear it. That's what her hair sounds like when she comb it out in the morning. Brother, you ought to be ashamed. Ashamed? I'm not ashamed. I'm proud. She's the only one in her school knows how to talk right. Ain't she something? A rose among a thousand thorns. I know it. Them old hardheads think she can talk, they can talk English, yep. But this child talks the king's English. I hear her. Talk the queen's English too. She can do it. But she sure Lord got some nappy hair on her head. Now why he's gotta come back to that. And I'm gonna tell you all how she came up with all that nappy hair. Brother, will you stop? Her hair was an act of God. Lord, listen to him now. The act of God that came straight through Africa. Well, you see, the angels went up to God. Uh-oh, here he goes. Angels walk up to God to talk him out of it. Will you listen to this? Yep, they say, Lord, Lord, Lord. Well, why you gotta be so mean? Why you gotta be so willful? Why you gotta be so honorary? Thinking about giving this nappy, nappy hair to that innocent little child. Innocent. Sweet little girl like that and you napping her hair like you ain't got good sense. <laughs> That's what they said. Napping up her hair Five, six, seven, maybe eight complete circles per inch. Brother, I'm talking about eight complete circles per inch of hair, please. And the angels trying to talk him out of it. Yep, but God, well, God wanted himself some nappy hair upon the face of the earth. That's what it was. So God turned himself around Look those angels square in the face. Well, and God say, get out of my way. Yep. He say, this is my world. It's the truth. This is my world and this child, well, this sweet little brown baby girl child, <laughs> we hear you, she gonna have the nappiest hair in the world. That's what he said. Ain't gonna be nothing they can come up with gonna straighten that child's hair. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm talking about straightening combs. Can it really be? I'm talking about relaxers and processors. 
You said it. Ain't nothing going to straighten up the naps on this child's head. What you say? And it was done. Boom. Ha. So here she come. Well, sitting back in Africa making plans. That's where it was. Squinching her little eyes and looking deep. She was deep. Getting ready to come to America with them slaves. Didn't we come over here? Sold your mama for a nickel. Yes, Lord, they did. And your daddy for a dime. Yep. I say they sold your mama for a buffalo. That is the way it was. And your daddy, they sold him for one thin dime. That's what they did. But this nap come riding express, coming on across the ocean from Africa, wouldn't stop for nothing. Didn't she come? Dance right on through all the wimp hair. Didn't want it. Wouldn't stop, wouldn't mix, wouldn't slow down for nobody. Wouldn't do it. Every time they tried to mess with her hair, I can see it. She stomped it, kicked it, snuck on around and came on through. That's what she did. Think she playing football, basketball or something. Yep. Dribbling on down the line. She is the one. And when she was born, we remember when we looked down on her in the cradle, what do we see? We all shout out and jump back. Did we jump? Laugh and shout because I'll tell you, she had the kinkiest, the nappiest, the fuzziest, the most screwed up, squeezed up, knotted up, tangled up, twisted up, nappiest. I'm telling you, she had the nappiest hair you've ever seen in your life. That's what it was. And Lord, well, the Lord in heaven, what you say? The Lord who brought the Israelites out of Egypt. Yes, he did. He looked down on this cute little brown baby girl. He looked at her. He looked at her and he said, well done. Yep. He said, I got me one. That's what he said. One nap of her hair is the only perfect circle in nature. Well... I got me a cute little brown baby girl. <laughs> Keep talking. I got me at long last this cute little brown baby girl. Well. And she's got the nappiest hair in the world. Ain't it the truth? The end. Nappy hair. Thanks for being with me.